Sin be na jo. Yat a dinner, my son and Nishle. This is Navajo Grandma. I want to share with you a really quick video. Uh, I know people are having uh, problems uh, monetarily and have asked me for ideas what they could do uh, to make Christmas ornaments. This wood slice Christmas ornament idea, nothing new. It'll bring out your artistic ability. First step, I went to the dollar store. I know they have a lot of incredible little Christmas items there. Very minimal cost. Some of them are a dollar, some of them are a dollar fifty. Grandma went and bought a package of a Christmas ornament, a bag of those, and snowman, Santa Claus, and the Christmas tree. Now these are all wood. They're pieces of wood. They are slices of wood. I bought these that are, it's called Baker's Toy. And you use these as to hang the ornaments. So Grandma went to work. Grandma also has some acrylic paints. I have colored pencils. These are my tools. Markers and pencil and eraser. Can't forget the brushes. Okay, so these are, again, from the dollar store. Multiple items for $1.50. Don't forget our wonderful scissor. When you're working with wood and you want to preserve and so that you can seal any paintings that you've done, we have the old Mod Podge, Mod Podge, and this is as old as the hills. I remember this when I was a little girl. In the 70s, everybody was doing this, Mod Podge. Here is the end result. Okay. Remember the Christmas tree, the Santa, the snowman, and the ornament. So for the ornament, uh, this is what Grandma did. This is a decoration. And these are just things that I just thought up and put on here. Is like a chief's blanket and you have the wedding basket and just a design here kind of like I wanted to put a sash is kind of a sash belt thing and then we're gonna turn these over now you don't have to do anything spectacular I just painted it plain the snowman is just uh, plain Santa on the other end I have yacht a keshmish that's Navajo Merry Christmas. And then on the other other side of the tree, I made, you know, just an eagle feather. They're fun, they're creative, and you can do the same thing. You know, just paint this completely red and, or whatever color you want. And, you know, maybe glue, glue a, something like a ribbon on top of it. And then you use the baker's, uh, the baker's twine. Now, I'll, Grandma will show you how to do the baker's twine really quick. Now, here's the baker's twine. And all Grandma's going to do, we're going to cut maybe like a, probably a six inch, the Christmas tree. Okay. And we will thread that. And, and just tie it. I mean, now see, and that's, look how cute you have this. And look, it's kind of a fun little, you know, this is a red and white uh, baker's twine. And you can hang that up and uh, pretty cute. You can also double this, okay, and I'd probably do about a 10 inch one. And you can double put this in here, double up the twine. Do you see what I've done? And then what you do, <clears throat> excuse grandma, and you loop, you loop this through here, 
and your and you tie it like this and this keeps it so it it doesn't uh, just it it hangs pretty well so you can double tie it here and or just do the single thing this this will kind of swing all over the place and if you do it just the regular you know with the one just a one string but the other one stays in place because it's it's got a double knot there so that's it this is our great fun um I guess, you know, anything to do when you're indoors. And if you want a hobby for Christmas, it is fun just to do things like this. And, you know, get your creativity out. And get your mind off your problems. And see how fun you can, what you can come up with. There's no pattern in what Grandma did. It's just being creative. Okay? Very, very fun. I love this one, the chief's blanket design. And then with the eagle feather. I love that one. Well, I love all of them. So this will be a gift I give to my daughter-in-law. It's rather fun. So I hope you learned something just off the cuff. And enjoy your week. Be creative. Grandma loves you. Hakone.